I was recently told that I had to go out and find a job or pack my bags in those exact words. So after going out and being turned down by all the fast food restaurants and the car washes telling me I had no experience, no experience, I came across an ad by TSA, that's the Transportation Security Administration. Now TSA is installing these body scanners throughout major airports around the country. Now these things are great. Do you remember when, when you were young kids and you always wished you had a pair of those x-ray glasses where you could see through people's clothes? Well, fantasy has become reality. So I went down and I applied for this job and I got an interview. And they told me that mall cop experience would be a big plus. I didn't have any, but she said it's not necessary. I said, do I meet the qualifications? And she says, can you walk and chew gum at the same time? And I said, yes, I believe I can. She says, you're hired. Now what this job involves is they put me in this room away from the actual scanning equipment. And I stare at a screen that basically undresses the people as they go through this machine. So right from the beginning, I got a partner out on the floor. His name is Jose. And we worked out a deal where we worked together. I told him, Jose, I says, do not send old women through this thing. Do not send men through this. Just pick out the good looking women and send them through this machine. And, and we reciprocate. I do the same thing for him when he's staring at the screen. Now when I'm locked in this room staring at the screen, they won't let us have a printer in there to save the, the good pictures. So I got to bring my camera phone so I can actually snap pictures of the screen. And, and this is really working out pretty good. Me and Jose have got this system down. Now I'm a little worried about Jose. I'm a little concerned actually. I don't think he's being too professional because I'm afraid when he's sitting in that room staring at the screen, I think he's back there spanking the monkey. And when I come back to relieve him, to take my turn, I'm afraid to touch anything. So now as a public service announcement to all you voyeurs out there, this is the job you want. Because before TSA, you had to sneak around through the bushes at night, peeking in people's windows in order to violate their privacy. But now, thanks to TSA, courtesy of the federal government, this is legal. Is this a great country or what?